Hello, I'm Dr. Michael Servi of Tower Clock Eye Center, and I'm here to talk to you about the anatomy of glaucoma. First, there's multiple types of glaucoma, but we're gonna talk about the most common, which is called primary open angle glaucoma. When you go over for an eye exam, they always talk about your eye pressure. And eye pressure is important because if the eye pressure is too high, um, it can lead to damage of the optic nerve. Uh, basically, the optic nerve is kind of the weak part of the eye, and if the pressure is too high, it can push on that nerve and cause damage. And if there's damage to the nerve, that signal can't go back to your brain, and your, and your brain cannot process the images. Now, why is the pressure changing? Uh, why does glaucoma occur later in life and things like that? Well, there is a fluid in our eye, and that fluid is called the oculus. It starts in the back of the eye, flows through our pupil, and then goes out a drain at the side of our iris called the trabecular meshwork, or what we call the angle. Well, this fluid flows just as fast as blood, and this fluid's job is to bring nutrients and oxygen to the internal structures of the eye. Over time, the trabecular meshwork can slow down. So if that fluid is flowing just as fast as blood, it'll actually build up the pressure because it's not draining out fast enough. And that is the most common type of glaucoma. We call it primary open angle glaucoma because that angle is slowed down. The main reason of this fluid uh, being clear is because if there was blood flowing through our eye, you can't see through blood. So the ciliary body in the eye is a special tissue that takes the nutrients and oxygen from the blood so that a clear fluid can flow through the eye. And it's the buildup of this fluid that causes the pressure to increase and then that can push on the optic nerve and once there's damage to the optic nerve we call it glaucoma. Now traditionally glaucoma was a pressure over 20. Um, but we like to say now that what is the best pressure for you? Because there is cases where the pressure is below 20, but glaucoma is still occurring, and that is called normal pressure glaucoma. So because there's a variance in pressure, um, either over 20 or under 20, it's important to get a comprehensive eye exam with someone to evaluate the optic nerve to determine if there's any risk of glaucoma developing in the future or glaucoma occurring at that time.